Hey, what's going on everybody? This is PH, and I am bringing you a quick commentary today talking about the breakdown of specializations, and a couple in particular. We're going to be discussing the Rogue specialization, and hinting a little on the Tracker specialization as well. Uh, so, the first question that one may ask themselves is, what is a specialization? Well, if you haven't reached level 50 yet, then you're probably unaware of exactly what it is. So, once you reach level 50, you'll hit a screen like so, here, and you'll go over to specializations. It'll tell you that the Spartan 4 is complete, and it's going to ask you to unlock another specialization, which is pretty much another Spartan with an ability, which you won't be able to use right away, but eventually you will after leveling up 10 levels. So, for example, at level 60, you'll be able to use that Spartan specialization. If you picked up a standard copy of Halo 4, then your specialization screen looks like the one in the previous screen with only two unlocked, wet work and operator. However, if you picked up the limited edition Halo 4, you actually unlocked all of the specializations. They'll be made public to everyone, I believe, next Tuesday. So, people who ordered the collector's edition only have a little bit of an advantage. Uh, as you can see on my screen right now, that I already completed the Rogue specialization, and that's what I'm here to talk to you guys about. And I also started on the tracker. So, the Rogue specialization unlocks a uh, support upgrade called Stability, which pretty much, when you're getting shot at, doesn't kick your gun up as much. It's almost like stability in Call of Duty. Now, there's a before and after picture, as you can see here, with the DMR and sniper. And here's the sniper rifle. This is without stability. And this next one is with stability after he kills me, of course. But it, you can definitely tell a difference, guys. But the question is, is it worth giving up your dexterity or ammo for this stability? Is it that much better? Also, I would just want to hit at something that I unlocked Tracker, and that actually it's called requisition which allows you to change your ordnance drop uh... you know from three perhaps you know you don't like your three you got you hit up on the d-pad and it'll give you three more options that is in the tactical package so instead of using mobility or shielding you could actually use requisition so you could actually have requisition also with stability and one more quick thing guys the experience uh, between levels actually drops off and lowers. I know from 49 to 50 it's about 50,000 experience. From 50 to 51 it is 11,000 and then goes up 6,000 a level. Once you hit that big 60, 70, whatever, it goes back to 11,000. From 59 to 60 it's approximately 65,000 experience. So I hope this guide helps. If you're interested in any more videos with breakdowns of specializations, uh, please leave a comment below and I'd be happy to do that. Take it easy, guys, and have a great weekend.